Hi, I'm Rebecca Balcarcel with Writers on Writing. Let's talk with Chris Barron, author, poet, and educator. Let's talk about drafting. I just struggled to write a draft recently, and and um, I know my students are the same way that they they get assignments or they or they just want to write something of their own, and and then there's the blank screen, and uh, and then there's finishing. So how do you do it? How do you make it through a draft? Oh my gosh, this is such a tough question. Um, okay, I'll, let me start with the the hardest part, which is. I often don't like I, like I really struggle to to do it and and usually it has to do with more of an emotional feel like I don't feel like it or um, I'm tired from working so depending on the project and and also there is something beautiful about a blank page and something terrible about the blank page you know depending on going back to purpose and audience so it's always a struggle, um, but uh, also it's always wonderful. So I don't, I, I, I'm constantly in conflict depending on what it is. The one thing that really helps me, there, there are two things. One is, and it sounds cliche, but discipline. Um, yeah. I, I think I like to credit like sports that, you know, like ah. years and years of practice and training in different sports, you know, like whether you like it or not, whether you feel like it or not, there are bad days, there are good days, but you get in there and do it. And I treat writing that way. And I don't know if it's the best way to do it or the best thing, but um, I at least tell my students always like, this is how I handle it. You have to find your way, but drafting is really, really important. If, if you don't do it, it's not gonna do it by itself. You've gotta get in there and work on it. Yeah. And then if you're lucky and often you are, you find the joy in the drafting process of like, you start to get in a rhythm and a flow and um, whether it's a grant you're working on, you realize you're hitting the questions right, or if it's a new story or a poem or a book. Um, once you get that project going, like maybe you just need a little bit of discipline to like get you in there and now you're in there. And that's, that's kind of how I try to do it. Yeah. It's like there's some momentum that, that, that builds up as you, yeah. as you actually get into page three, page four, and on, it's easier to carry it forward once you've broken into the, I love what you said about there's something beautiful about the blank page, because there is a sense of potential that, oh, you know, what amazing thing could, could exist soon, but then that's also a pressure that could maybe paralyze you or me, <laughs> possibly I'm talking about myself. Yeah. No, for sure. It, it can feel like tremendous pressure, challenge, and um, and but at the same time, it, it it just opens up possibilities. And it's it's amazing how much of writing is a mindset like that. You know, like like just thinking about like how we view the blank page. Um, like I, I'm a big believer, and it's okay to say no or to fail, or but but you have to return. You know, I, I specifically about writing, you know, like you have to go back into it. And, but yeah, yesterday I was, I, I decided like, I'm going to get up and do art. I don't know, you say do art, but I got up and I sat at a table like by our, by our window. And I was like, we have like an art area in our house, thankfully. And, you know, I just sat there and just started like, grabbed a piece of paper and just started drawing. And I don't draw for any other reason, but for myself. <laughs> And, you know, and my daughter joined me and, and it was really intimidating, but that's what drafting is like. Like you just kind of do it. Yeah. Yeah. Know. And, and maybe drop the, the pressure to have it come out perfectly right away. Know that you can work with it later. You can revise. And yeah. That yeah. helps me to remind myself, this is not the end. This is the beginning. <laughs> it's okay. Actually, I mean, there's, I mean, just to be practical for a second, there, there's another thing I tell my students and I tell myself um, if this is helpful for anyone. Um, so, so like when you're drafting an essay, for example, it's often helpful to find, because as, as professors, we always say like, find quotes and paraphrases that help support and illustrate your own ideas or whatever, right? Yes. But like, it really is helpful. Not, it's not just, just because like, so if you can find 
you're, let's say you're writing an essay or an article, if you find a quote that's moving to you or strikes you or you disagree with, it's such a great starting point, right? And so then you can just simply react. And we're so good at reacting. Like everyone wants to react on social media. Like think <laughs> of it like that. Like just react to yeah. this quote or paraphrase. And I think in drafting a book or a story, poem, if you can find like like yesterday, I'll just give you the example. I, I just thought of the sentence, he carries the weight of the world, right? It's not an extraordinary sentence. It's like, we all think that that's kind of a phrase that is known, but it helped me uh, draft, start drafting. Yeah, like you're in oh. conversation with that sentence now. Yes. And and so you, yeah, you're not just inventing everything from in, inside, you, you're, there's something outside you can push against or, or reach toward or, yeah, be in conversation yeah. with. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I, I, I feel like the, um, the quote idea is really nice because yes, if you, especially disagreeing with it, it gives you a reason to be, to be, to be putting words down and <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I think we, we forget about that. Like I, I often tell my students, like, can you just find one or two significant sentences in your essay, in, in, in an article you're reading? Like, it's not about understanding everything, but what's sticking out to you? And that can often provoke the reaction or evoke the reaction you want in an essay. And, you know, I don't think it's separate from what we do as writers. You know, I think we need that too. Yeah, yeah. We're, in fact, the whole book, you know, is a is a conversation about the issues that the character is is grappling with, you know. Um, yeah. yeah, or even a response to the question that we asked ourselves as young people, we're now trying to answer by writing the, the story. That's exactly right. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a reaction to, I wish I'd known this. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> ah, thank you so much. This has been super helpful. Thank you. I, it's great talking. Yeah.